we can all relate. It's really easy to make those New Year's resolutions, but it's also just as easy to give up on them. You better believe it. In fact, January 12th is commonly referred to as Quitters Day because on that day, many people have given up their resolutions, particularly ones related to exercising or eating healthy. Our Taylor Pollock speaking with a mental wellness expert who is sharing tips on how to stay ahead of Quitters Day. Taylor? Yeah, that's right. That UAB clinical psychologist that I spoke with says that there's actually a psychology behind why people give up on those goals. And she also says there are a couple of different approaches that you can take to continue on in your journey to a better you this new year. Now, it's great to have those self-improvement goals as your New Year's resolutions. But Megan Hayes, a clinical psychologist with UAB's Office of Wellness, says sometimes people can get caught up in an all or nothing mentality. For example, people who haven't been regular exercising, setting a goal of 10,000 steps a day. She says setting massive goals like these don't leave wiggle room for when life happens and a temporary setback can often cause people to give up because in their minds they've already failed. It can, you know, become too much and overwhelming for them and then they give up because it's too hard. Whereas it would be better to set a lower goal, right? Start low, go slow, maybe 2,000 steps, 3,000 steps and slowly build up from there. Now, Hayes says if you are temporarily thrown off, it's better to start back the next day rather than the next week or the next month, because the sooner you get back on track, the better. I'm in Birmingham, Taylor Pollock, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.